guys were playing Purdue. The team last year that was, you know, pretty difficult, and they went on to win the Big Ten championship. So just talk a little bit about some of the problems they posed for you guys and how you guys want to prepare for it. Well, Purdue did have a very good team last year. Uh, this year they're much like we were a year ago, uh, where you lost a lot of your top players. Uh, they have very good players on the field. Uh, they're just not experienced. And so, you know, it, it's never an easy uh, day whenever you play baseball. It's not going to be an easy weekend. Uh, I feel good, you know, about uh, our guys' makeup. I think they'll bounce back from, uh, you know, what what we've done in the in the recent days, and uh, I look forward to them competing well against Purdue. What are you guys specifically going to work on a practice? Because I know uh, during the EIU game, you came out pretty flat offensively. You know, we just go back to the basics all the time. Uh, there's not anything you know special you work on from a team standpoint. We just need to take good swings. Recognize pitches and get pitches up in the zone. Uh, you know, again, it's just basic fundamental type things, and, and we'll go back to the basics and you know, be ready to go tomorrow. I also saying that Purdue kind of had a couple freshmen added to their team, so pretty much kind of youth. Is there anything uh, I guess special about them and some of the new players they added? No, not really. I mean, it, they're just like us. We added some players too. Uh, they've got some young players that are contributing. We've got a lot of young players we put on the field that contribute as well. So. You know, it, once you get to this point in the season, uh, I really feel like you have a team full of players. It's not you have freshmen and seniors. You know, you have a team and, and everybody's far enough along that you're a college baseball player and it's time to produce. It seemed like against Eastern that uh, maybe some extra uppercut swing strength defense a little bit more. Is that a fair assessment? I wouldn't. I don't think so. I don't think we changed our swings. <clears throat> I just don't think we uh, uh, were patient and got good pitches to hit. So uh, as far as mechanical things, I don't think we have any issues there. It's more of just getting the pitches and then putting a good swing on uh, When you say fundamentals, what are, are these specific drills that you're working on? Or just specific you... drills, the basic drills we've always done. We've got some T-work that we do, and some situational things we do in the cages. Uh, not going to hit on the field today. We're going back into the, the cage type uh, setting that we had in the indoor. And, and again, just, uh, you know, just go back to the basics. What's the difference between hitting on the field and hitting the cage? Well, you know, guys, I think at times when they're hitting on the field, they worry about the result and where the ball carries to. Uh, in the cage, you, you spend a little bit more time uh, just working on the fundamental aspect of your swing. So I'm not concerned ever about the actual result. If we take good swings on a regular basis, then you get good results.